guys, it's me. Um, oh, goodness. Yeah, so um, it's me. I just wanted to do like a quick video. Well, it's not gonna be quick. It's just gonna be like a quick um, tips and tricks video that for beauty that I think would really help most of you. Cause when I did all this, it really helped me. So um, yeah. The first one I wanna demonstrate for you. I'm not really gonna demonstrate everything because I don't have everything, but I have tried everything, so I know it does work. Um, I just like saw things um, like over the years, there would be things that I'd seen or like read, and I would just be like, oh, that's a good idea for like makeup or um, even like skin and stuff. This is mostly like for your f like your face, I guess. Nothing really for, well I guess there's like one thing for like your body and stuff, but yeah I just wrote a few things down so I wouldn't forget because I'm not like all scatterbrained, even though I probably am right now. So yeah, the first thing I wanted to share was um, how to get really long eyelashes with baby powder. Like I literally just figured, then I figured it out, I like read it somewhere, um, or you just put a little bit of baby powder on like a little q-tip or something or you can just put it like, on your fingers and like rub it but um between coats of mascara they if you apply the baby powder it actually like lengthens them and makes them you know long so i'm gonna show you how i do that and i'm just gonna take out my eyelash curler and my mascara that i'm going to use today and you know what I did the first time I tried this I didn't use like a good mascara I just used this elf one because um I got this like in a package or like not a package but those kits like five dollar kits from like Ross or something and I was like whatever I like elf so why not I had like an eyeshadow the eyelash curler more liquid liner that I needed I just had a bunch of stuff so anyways I'm just gonna use this elf one um I've seen it in stores it's only a dollar so like even the cheapest mascara it'll work with I think maybe you guys can't really tell the difference but my eyelashes are pretty short and when I try to um you know put stuff on them it just don't really work for me so yeah I'm just gonna demonstrate that really quick so what I did I just poured some baby powder oops a lot, on my skin or you could or you put it anywhere but I just put it right here I'm making a mess and you just take like a cotton swab or anything you use your finger and you just put it all over your eyelashes oh, zoom in. and you want to do this like between coats I don't know why it does like why it works, but I just know that it does. Change my finger. Oops. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> so um, I don't want to waste all this on my paper. I'm gonna put on the rest of my paper. So yeah, um, just take this. You can curl your lashes first if you want. I never really curl my lashes anyway, but if you want to, you could just curl them really quick. Make sure they're straight. My lashes are kind of clumpy right now because I did have this on earlier. Some mascara and I just wiped it off so it's probably like really clumpy. But yeah, just make sure you have it on there. And then get the mascara and just apply it like normal. I probably should have just showed you one like without it. Like without putting the powder on. Oh well. Like that. So like even already they look really long and I doubt that it's the mascara. Maybe it is. I've never tried it by itself. But <laughs> whatever. So yeah, I'm just gonna curl my lashes again. Like this. And I'm going to apply one more coat of this baby powder stuff. And yeah, so I'm going to do this one too.
as you can see, I got some everywhere. My face. Everywhere. Yeah, so that's basically how I did it. And I think it worked pretty well. My lashes are pretty short as it is, so for me, this is long. <laughs> it's pretty long. So, um, yeah, that's just my um, BB powder trick. And maybe it'll work different from, for some other people who already have, like, long lashes. Or maybe it depends what mascara you use. But I think for the mascara only being a dollar and the baby powder to work makes it really long. I don't know. I'm satisfied. And, yeah. So that was my first trick. My second trick is for nails. Um, I think I saw this on Pinterest or something. And you just, like, it's to dry them really fast. Um, one way is to like spray Pam on it and I did try it and it does really work so it'll save you a lot of time if you're one of those impatient people who just like want their nails to dry. You just get like a bottle of that cooking spray Pam or like a substitute or whatever and when you have wet nails just spray it once on it and they should dry like within seconds so that's pretty cool. And another way I, le I, s didn't learn. I saw that you can um, dry your nails is like if you... Like, after they're wet, you get really cold water, and you just, like, keep your nails in there for, like, a couple of minutes. And just leave them in there in cold water, and your nails will be completely spot-free, or smudge-free, and they'll be dry. So, I didn't do that I didn't do that today. I just did these ugly Halloween nails. You can see the little eyeballs. But, yeah. Anyways, another one is for, like, oh, it's for, like, acne. Because I always get acne and stuff, and, um... One way, like if you're, you have like a really big zit and you don't want to, like you're going to school or something and you have a really big zit and you're trying to get rid of it. I don't know if this will work like in a, like a minute or like 20 minutes. It's more of like an overnight thing. So like at night, if you get, if you have like a really big pimple anywhere, um, you get some aspirin, like one aspirin and like four drops of water and you just like dissolve it in your hand or wherever you want to dissolve it and then just like put it where you want it it should be gone like the next day I think I tried it overnight I haven't tried it like on the spot but I know that if you do it overnight it should be like it's like a spot free acne thing so like um like a quick I don't know something like that um let's see oh another thing this is more for like your skin like your um hands or your elbows because I have really dry elbows and like your knees I really oh no my knees are bad dry my elbows are kind of dry and when I learned this like I think like a year ago or something I saw it on YouTube or somewhere I don't remember but um you just take like a bowl of water and some honey and sugar I don't know how, I don't know like the equivalents or the ratios or whatever but I just know that if you I just put a little bit of um sugar in a cup or a bowl and you just put add water until it's like um like a paste kind of and the honey is really just for smell I guess I don't I didn't put honey but I know that it's just for smell the honey doesn't really have to do anything like special so I've tried it with just sugar and water and it still really worked and um what you do is you just like put it in your hands if you're trying to it's just like exfoliating scrub so if you're trying to like make your hands super super soft just like rub it like for a good 30 seconds or something and like all over your elbows oh my gosh it makes your skin so soft and oh, I do that at least like once a week so um hands will be baby smooth and your elbows will too um I think a lot of people already know these a couple of these tips because um I've heard them a lot and I just thought that I would do a video of these because like I know maybe not everybody knows and be nice to know because I know that it helps me sometimes. Um, I don't, I haven't really done this a lot. Like I did it for a few days, but what it, it, has, it has to do with like Vaseline, and I heard that if you put it on your eye, your eyelashes, while you're sleeping, it should like lengthen them or make them grow or something like that. I don't know. I haven't really tried it out fully because I did it like twice and got lazy because I never take off my makeup and. Oops. And it's out. Okay. So, like, I heard that if you want to do it for, like, your night before, you need to go for your makeup. It's, you're supposed to do, like, with clean eyelashes. And, um, <laughs> you just want to, like, put it on and sleep. And then in the morning, this should be really long. I don't know about overnight, but 
I think like in a few weeks they should be. If you do that every night for a few weeks, it should be um, really, they should grow. So yeah. Oh, and also, if you put Vaseline, where else did I see it? Vaseline, oh yeah. If you put Vaseline on your heels, like your foot or your feet, when um, you get new shoes, like on the, on, not the heel, it's like your, yeah, your ankle. You put that on when you're wearing new shoes, it should like smooth it out like if you're wearing high heels or like um like flats or something. Cause I know flats always give me blisters and stuff. You should you rub like um some Vaseline on the back of your ankle and it should smooth everything out and it shouldn't give you blisters. So that's a good tip, I think. <laughs> and then I bet the other ones are kind of like duh. So I don't know if I should say that. I probably just should. Okay, so the other one, only have like three more. Um, one of them is, this one I know a lot of people already know. But you just take your toothbrush. Okay, if you want like fuller lips, um, I don't do it because I'm okay with my lips. I don't really need them full. I did it like once and I just see a difference, but I don't think I need to keep doing it. So, yeah, but if you really want fuller lips, then what you should do is get like your toothbrush, put a little bit of water and just like scrub your lips and for some reason... It'll just make them plump and big. So, yeah, that's one if you want your lips really big. And then there's another one. This one I'm, I kind of have on right now. It's just white eyeliner. And I kind of failed because my the one I'm using is, like, by NYX. And it's kind of chalky and I don't really like it. So, yeah, I just put some on my waterline. And that's supposed to, like, make your eyes look really awake. I don't know if I look really awake, but that's what it's supposed to do. And yeah, and the last one I have is perfume on your brush. So what you want to do is get like your normal hairbrush or whatever you use to brush your hair. Spray like your favorite perfume in it and like while you brush your hair, um, all the scent will go into your hair. So like when you're like with your boyfriend or on a date or just anywhere and your friends like give you a hug and they smell your hair, and they're like, oh my gosh, you smell really good. I don't think they'll smell your hair, but you know how you sniff or like you breathe and um you happen to be hugging somebody and they're like, oh, they smell really good. And it's probably because they put perfume in their hair or something. But yeah, that is all my tips that I have for today. I hope that some of you guys who are watching found this helpful. And yeah, tell me what you think below. And don't forget to subscribe. So yeah, thanks guys.